welcome guys you are seeing a, a data table uh, in this tutorial i am going to show you how i create this uh, data table custom server side data table without any dependency any package and uh, also i will share code explanation how i implemented this data table so let's see first check uh, all of the features of the data table uh, look at that uh, this is the checkbox so we can delete and trash sections like uh, we have 29 records here and one is inside trash uh, if i filter only trash so we will see the one record which is trash and now if we restore or permanently delete we can so uh, let's see we just restore it and look at that there is no record and there is 30 records and now only trash there is no records so this is the uh, trash features of the data table and you can filter with trash uh, only trash and without trash so so without trash we have uh, 30 record and if we filter with publish and draft uh, look at that uh, there is a publish status so if you filter with publish and there is all of the post has is published so we can make this draft so after updating draft look at that the post has been drafted so now um, if we filter uh, if uh, we want to see only draft post and with trash so there is only one records and if you see the category uh, Django there is two post so there is no post with Django but we see with all data uh, like uh, publish and there is two post with Django we are already seeing that uh, Django has two post and there is a date range filter uh, last 15 days we have a uh, record today we have uh, no record so this is the filter section of our uh, data table uh, all are happening with custom server side code and this is implemented using laravel so this is the filter section we have already seen and look at that all of the checkbox feature like we want to uh, delete this record without without uh, pushing this into the trash state we are we want to delete uh, forcefully delete this record so just choose delete and apply are you sure yes and look at that the article has been deleted and one records is uh, 29 records and uh, one record is gone and there is no record in trash section if we search only trash look at that there is no trash record so there is no option to uh, back this record again so just uh, we are seeing all record and now we want to uh, look uh, all of the records and just choose trash and yes look at that uh, we are seeing 24 records and if we refresh just refresh and look at that five trash data is there and only trash if we see there is only five records and pagination is one and if we see with trash there is uh, 29 records and if we see without trash there is 24 records and all of the pagination is uh, working perfectly if we see 10 page per page and the pagination is divided into three sections because we have 24 section uh, 24 pages so all are working fine uh, this is the server side pagination you are seeing without any packages and now we want to uh, search data just on the author uh, who is ipsa so we are we want to search the records of ipsa so if sa and we're seeing the record is if size there this if size here and another if size here but there is no if sa author but if size there is some so uh, it's showing so if we see some look at that that's only if some is there and just to notice uh, we are seeing three records and pagination is one because we have three record and page is five so pagination is also working fine and uh, just making it dark mode so look nice pretty so if you see the network tab the all the request is server side so just search like uh, face here 
uh, if we look at that this product uh, this post is here this is the author and the post is there so just notice all the requests server we have sent it so this is the record and if we see all records and if we check the pagination look at that it is nicely working and every request is has been sent to the server look at that so uh, pagination and uh, all are working if we uh, column filter if you want to do column filter just click on it look at that a ascending order now descending order e is there now we want to filter uh, we want to uh, descending we want to see descending order according to id so look at that there are 24 uh, 5 uh, 4 records so if we filled uh, descending now we are seeing ascending order uh, if you want to uh, see descending order just click and look at that there are 30 number records is there so we are seeing ascending descending uh, column filtering uh, is working fine and also all the filtering is there working nicely done so they are look at that only jquery has one post so if we want to see jquery post just click and look at that there are only one jquery post and if you see PSP, PSP has four post. Click and look at that. PSP has four post. So searching, filtering is there. So uh, without uh, just filtering, it will also work using search. L like we want to see the all post of Laravel. I look at that. Only Laravel is there. So it filtering and searching also is working fine. So how I created this server side data table. Let's uh, check the source code of it so uh, we are seeing the post section uh, of this implementation like open the post so i'm going the post controller and see now look at that this is the implementation of this data table of server side code we are seeing look at that this is the index method and just we are receiving request and if request is ajax and then we are calling table and passing the article of instance of article because we are implementing the data table of article or post so we are passing the article instance and then we are initializing the columns so which column article columns if we visit the table uh, class so we are seeing in the construct section we are receiving the model like we are passing from here so we are receiving it and initializing assigning this value and assigning this model into this um, model variable and then using this model instance we are accepting we are uh, receiving the columns uh, array from the model because uh, there is a implementation of mm, this uh, column inside this model so if we visit the article model uh, of course there is a method uh, get columns because we are calling it from the, this instance so if you visit uh, look at that there is a method of uh, get columns so we are seeing this grid columns and then we init after initializing set columns we are uh, we are initializing set params so what kind of request we are accepting from the server from the client so using this method method we are uh, setting the params uh, uh, everything related to the request and then we setting the query so if we visit the set query uh, we will see the set query is just uh, initializing the query uh, this we are using this instance again and just facing the query method from the article uh, class look at that this is the get query implementation so this is the just uh, query and then we are passing the filter section because there is a uh, four filter like dead trends, uh, category, trash, and status. So we are passing four classes. So there is a uh, filter section up there. Look at that. This is the filter. Everything filter is uh, going there. Category filter, and then uh, status filter. Look at that. This is the just at 
uh, just a class and extending query filter which is an abstract method and uh, then date range filter so after that we are uh, we are organizing our result after uh, assigning the set query then set result then set total set total means we are uh, defining the number of total records and after getting the total records we are defining the paging numbers so look at that the set total method uh, if you see the set total then uh, we will see the implementation of uh, set total uh, if you check set total look at that the set total is this total data this total record and this query count thus this is the query section we are uh, accepting uh, there is a query and just getting the query and this query we are just counting the number and assigning this total and total record so after this set total just we are uh, organizing our response and just return this response and then just post section we are creating this grid and this is for our checkbox and then just implementing it using our uh, server side implementation and there is uh, one more thing uh, if we visit the table section and the article class look at that this is the only we are returning the query not the result after returning this query just uh, we mm, transform our records because we call these records from our table uh, look at that we are creating a just with this we are returning this this final query and then just get what we are just returning this query uh, from the class not the result uh, look at that just returning this query there is no get section so we have to get the record then just uh, querying the record and then using this model instance we are calling transform record uh, so if we have any transformation uh, any changes we want to uh, we want to make so that's why we are using this method so then we using here uh, calling here then passing the row every row and transform this record and then pushing this into this data variable and then passing the records from here and then the server side data table implementation is done using this code and then this is the very uh, very simple logic and for searching uh, look at that uh, if we visit the article uh, section there is a search option and look at that just initializing pipeline then send using the initial query with the search record so if there is any search then just search the record query search then searchable columns there is a searchable column array so we want to search title and then author name according to author name according to category name and according to tax name so there is a has belongs to many relationship with tax with every post and there is a uh, has one uh, has many relationship category with post and there is a has many relationship with post with uh, uh, author with post and there is a title uh, individual title so we have to search title according to author according to category name according to tax name so we are creating this searchable column and passing this searchable column um, with our search query look at that this is the search and it is coming from searchable trade so we are creating this trade uh, this is the searchable trade and the trade is there and just we are searching this uh, data like uh, this scope and using this scope we are implementing our search uh, filtering uh, paging column filtering and pagination everything is working fine suppose we are uh, want to search with admin so if we search with admin look at that this is working uh, nicely so this is the implementation of server side code and there is no dependency there is no packages uh, you have already seen that so if you like this implementation if you like this uh, coding structure uh, uh, please give a thumbs up and uh, if you don't understand any section of the code so you can share your question with me and 
uh, others if you want to do so thank you so much hope you enjoy this tutorial and of course uh, you have learned something new thanks